November 2nd. It is the Lord, let him do what seemeth him good, 1 Samuel 3 verse 18. We know not what is for our highest welfare. Sometimes those things which we crave and desire to grasp, considering them to be good, might really be to our disadvantage. Blessed are they who are able by faith to pierce the gloom of every trial and difficulty and perplexity, and to realize that the Lord knoweth them that are his, and that he is causing all things to work together for their good. We are to wait patiently for the Lord and to take patiently such experiences as his providences may mark out for us, questioning not the wisdom, the love and the power of him with whom we have to do. The Christian should recognize the Lord's providence in all his affairs, whether it brings toward or untoward events, rewards or punishment. In every case the Lord's will should be heartily accepted. This will be difficult in untoward experiences, especially if these are chastisements, but all the more necessary will it then be to be submissive, for insubmissiveness then is liable to lead to total willfulness, which must result in complete disaster. It is, however, better for us to be like Samuel, a type of the little flock, whom a look was sufficient to guide, than like Eli, a type of the great company, who needed punishment for a large measure of willfulness. Questions What have been the week's experiences in line with the text? How were they met? What helped or hindered therein? What resulted therefrom? His will, not mine, be done. O Tisho you of little faith! Why dost thou fear? Didst thou forget that Jesus is so near? And hast thou thought that thou must walk alone? Behold now at thy side the loved one. I, more than this, thou art he held within his hand, and t'was himself that hath thy trial planned. There was a need be seen by I divine, although, perchance, not visible to thine. And, wherefore wouldst thou see? Thou canst not tell. If what thy heart contends for would be well, perhaps thy hope's fruition would be vain, or prove a lifelong discipline of pain. Hast thou not seen, in retrospective life, that will of God which caused thee bitterest strife? hath turned to sweetness, while the thing he gave. To suit thy will grew darker than the grave? There's rest supreme for souls that choose his will, a blessed security from every ill. The things God chooses for us never fail. They have their anchorage within the veil.